Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to adjust the mouse pointer when hovering over an object like so. Uh, if I'm around here I have a normal mouse pointer. If I hover over the object it becomes a hand pointer and if I click on the object it becomes a grabbed hand and I can drag my rigid body cube around and if I leave go I get back to the normal mouse pointer. To start off we will create a fresh project, so let's create a new project. Uh, I will call mine YouTube Handle Cursor. Let's import our mouse images into our project. So for this I used sprites uh, from which I removed the background. So actually the background here is not white but like uh, alpha value translucent. Okay, so if I select all the objects I can see the texture type up here in the inspector and we will change it to Cursor. There's actually a known type for cursors, so we will use this. Uh, let's adjust the max size to 32, so our cursor does not appear too big on the screen. Let's apply the import settings. Let's set up a quick scene, so let's create a plane, as well as a cube to pick up. Move it up a bit, so it sits on the plane. We can adjust one of our textures to the cube, so we can tell a better part from the plane. Next we will add a script to our main camera, so go to the main camera, go to the inspector and add a component and call the script uh, handle cursor. The function that we will use to exchange our cursor image is called set cursor. it's a static method of the cursor class. Uh, it takes a few parameters, it takes the texture, it takes a hotspot that's basically an offset. Um, we don't want an offset, so uh, I'll show you how to set it to zero. Lastly, we need to specify a cursor mode. This has something to do with rendering the cursor as a hardware cursor. We will just set this to automatic. So basically, we can uh, use this example. Um, let's copy these three lines of code and take them to our script. We don't have one texture, but we have three different textures. So let's copy this one and name them mouse, hand, and grab. Cursor mode auto is great. Hotspot vector 2.0, which means no offset whatsoever is great. Next, we want to define three methods to exchange our cursor. Name them set mouse, set hand, and set grab respectively. In these methods, we will use cursor.setCursor and just set everything appropriately. So in the first one, I will use the mouse as my texture. I will use the hotspot as my hotspot. And I will use the cursor mode as my cursor mode, which we have defined above. I will use the same method here and just use the hand texture instead. And I will do the same for my grab. This is all we need to do in this class. Don't forget to assign our textures to the appropriate fields in the handle cursor script. Let's um, grant our player the ability to pick up the cube. For this, we need to add a rigid body to it. And we need to go to Assets and Input Package Characters. So now go to the Standard Assets, go to Utility, and just drag the Drag Rigid Body script onto our main camera. This immediately enables us to pick up our cube. Actually, we should adjust the angle a bit here, so we have a nice angle with our main camera. Just select the main camera in the hierarchy. Move to the position that you wish to have uh, as your view. And for me on Mac, it's Command, Shift, and F. Should be something similar on Windows with Control, Shift, and F to set the main camera's position to the 
viewport that is selected in the scene view. Next, we would like to update the cursor image when hovering over the cube. So let's go to the cube and add a script update cursor to it. We can make use of Unity's functions um, on mouse enter to recognize when the mouse enters a collider. So for this to work, you have to make sure that you have a box collider attached to your cube. Similarly, we have on mouse exit. We can also use on mouse down to recognize when you click on the cube. And we can use on mouse up to recognize when the mouse has been released after clicking on the cube. Next, we will need a handle to our handle cursor script. So the handle cursor script is a script which is attached to the main camera. To get the script, we can use numerous ways. For example, we could make use of the main camera's tag, which is main camera. A reference to the handle cursor script is actually a game object of type handle cursor. So we can use handle cursor as variable type. Let's name it cursor. And let's adjust its value in the start method. This is a method which is called once when starting the program. So let's say uh, cursor equals um, game object dot find game object with tag, and we can specify main camera here. So as the main camera carries the main camera tag, we can find it using this method. So now we are the main camera, and we want its uh, handle cursor component, we can retrieve any component of any game object. If we're at the game object, we do another dot, and then we say get component to get a component. We specify the component in the angle bracket. So in our case, it would be handle cursor to get a handle on the handle cursor script. We have to use normal brackets because it's a function call. So now we have a handle to the handle cursor script called cursor. And now we can think about what we need to do when we enter the cube with our mouse, when we exit it, when we click on it, and when we leave go. So when entering, we should display the hand, right? So let's set hand. When exiting, we should switch back to the normal mouse. In order to recognize whether we're currently dragging our cube, we should introduce a Boolean variable called carrying to denote whether we're currently carrying the object. So on mouse down only means that we're now carrying the object, so we can set it to true. Similarly, on mouse up, we should set it to false. Also, we should set our cursor back to our mouse. Now in the update function, we can check whether we're currently carrying the object. And if so, we should display our grab pointer. So let's use cursor.set grab. Actually made a typo there. Grab, that's better. All right. And this should conclude our tutorial on exchanging a mouse pointer when dragging an object. I'm dragging it. We have the grabbing hand. I release it. We get back to the mouse. And when hovering over it, we get the mouse pointer. When exiting it, we get back to the mouse. Of course, you can plug in different script to do different things uh, when actually clicking on the object if you don't want um, to drag it around, but this mechanic should stay the same, so have fun with that. So subscribe to this channel if you would like to receive more updates on videos like this, give this video a thumbs up if you want to support my channel, and definitely check out my paid course on the Oculus Rift if you're an upcoming virtual reality developer.